So today I'm so excited I'm here at Academic City. I came to see this school when it was under construction. I had a wonderful opportunity of meeting with the innovators who actually brought this school to Ghana. And I saw their vision at the time and I knew what they wanted to do and I was therefore happy to support them. We need more academic city university colleges across this country. The kind of work that is being done here, the innovation that is being done here, is the innovation we want to see at all our universities. And once we do that, we can transform our this nation. As I walked into Academic City, I was like, wow, we have such huge investment sitting here with a very brilliant faculty willing to impart knowledge on our young people. It is always an amazing opportunity to realize that the Honorable Minister for Education and the President of the Republic recognize that we always, as a government, need to partner with private universities so that we will create access for the teeming Ghanaian youth who have developed interest in studies. The Honorable Minister of Education, uh, Dr. Yaosei Duchun, for instance, is very impressed that when it comes to the STEM drive, that is the science, technology, engineering, and math, you have a private university leading the drive, or, or at least uh, leading as, as one of the key stakeholders leading the drive or chartering this path. And so we are very impressed by what we are doing here. I mean, I saw a drone which has a sensor system where anytime something is approaching it, the drone itself, without being manipulated or regulated by any other person, will just move to a safer direction. I mean, this is the first of its kind. I'm very impressed seeing the laboratories that you have, the, the, the electronic bi bicycle. So, 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 so wonderful. You guys are doing great. You guys are doing very amazing. And, and I'm impressed. I mean, the Ministry of Education also continue to, of course, I mean, collaborate and support you. And, and especially when it comes to the science, technology, engineering and math agenda that we are, we are pushing. I spoke to one of your directors and she mentioned that uh, there is a presidential scholarship where you select students from uh, deprived communities but who are brilliant and who need the opportunity to study. As an individual, I am a product of Moshi Zongo, which is one of the largest but also deprived Zongo communities in the country. And the only thing, the bridge between moving from Moshizongo to becoming a lawyer and also a politician is education. So if there is any institution that is sensitive uh, to that kind of challenge we have in our deprived communities and wishes to reach out and make a difference, then I can say that Academic City University College is one of the best in the country. It's so wonderful being here. And, and I mean, this, this must go viral. The Ghanaians must know, the world must know that when it comes to the, an institution, especially when it comes to a, a private university leading the leading the, 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 the science, technology, engineering, and math drive, I mean, the academic city is, is, is one of the universities that you can count on in this country. I was very excited. I was very happy that we are talking STEM now. We are talking STEM from across the board. We are talking STEM from KG all the way to the university. So that was something profound that I took from this discussion. The other thing that I took from this discussion is that, look, there always has to be an entry point. Anytime you take an exit, you should be able to find an entry point onto the highway of higher education. And that kids come in with diverse talents. And when you constrict those talents, then you are depriving people from areas of life that they could perhaps make significant contributions. Um, and so if a visual arts student changes their mind when they are 16 years old, there should be an entry point for them to be able to go to the university and still study science. You know, if you're going to the university to study mechanical engineering and you get a D7 in English, you shouldn't have to sit home because you didn't pass English. After all, D7 is good enough and the university, like the minister said, should be able to create avenues for students that have fallen on the wayside to be able to rectify these situations and to proceed. And so for me, Today was remarkable, you know, not just for this beautiful institution that I have the unique privilege of running, but also to understand how we are intertwined with the national aspirations of this country.